Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today we're going to be talking about AMC and why is AMC up? So let's take a look at AMC's chart really quick. Uh, as you can see, uh, as of market uh, close on June, uh, right now, when was this taken? June 3rd, 4.29 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time EDT. So you can see that uh, mar at market close on the day before June 2nd, AMC was at uh, 62.55, and at uh, pre-market, it's up, uh, I think, 13% about. So it's up to $71.13 here, as you can see. And this is like at a 52-week high, and also like, if you see the chart here, if you click on max, you can see it's like at a max all-time high from even back in maybe 2015, 2017. You can see that. At around there, it was maybe about, I don't know, maybe $35 a share-ish. And now it's at over 70 pre-market. It's just, that's crazy. It just shot up like that, like just straight up. And why is that? Why is that? So I was uh, doing a little research online, and I saw that according to an article by USA Today, link to this is in the description, uh, by the way, if you want to check it out. Uh, they said, uh, why is AMC stock rising? In short, because retailer traders, uh, aka like individual investors like you and me, people just who just uh, invest on their own without uh, maybe uh, the help of uh, big financial corporations or something, like retail traders, they're loosely organizing a bid via social media messaging boards to drive up the company's shares. So it's pretty much like, why is it going up? Just because a bunch of uh, people like individual investors, or you call, can call them retail investors, they just really want to buy AMC stock, but there's no real reason for it, as I can tell. They just want to buy it, so there's just a lot of people that want to buy the shares for no reason all of a sudden, and then that causes a, causes a sudden spike in the, in the uh, share price. And uh, they also said, uh, according to the article, that... Uh, AMC raised more than $230 million by selling 8.5 million shares of its common stock to, uh, how do you say that, Mudrick, Mudrick Capital. And then uh, Mudrick had already moved to sell its stake at a profit. So what does that mean? That means that AMC is, uh, they're being smart about it about this. They're using this time when the stock price is high to raise capital or raise money for the company. So how, how are they doing that? Well, AMC is creating shares for the public to buy. They're just like diluting their um, company a bit by saying like, oh, here's more shares. If you want to buy more shares, they're just making it out of thin air. And normally that would decrease the value of the uh, price per share since there's like more shares on the market. But the thing is, since demand is so high right now, it's actually not having that much of an effect on it. And AMC is actually able to raise some money for the for itself, and maybe they could uh, maybe they could improve themselves as a company in the future with that money. So that's pretty good. Eight, 230 million dollars by selling 8.5 million shares. Uh, so that's the news from the USA Today article, link in the description. And also, one thing I found interesting is uh, recently, I think maybe within the past couple days, two, three days or so, AMC is uh, offering free popcorn for investors. And this is from their AMC website. Uh, it says, get an initial free large popcorn and investor updates if you're a current stockholder. And then let us know. We'll send you special offers starting starting with an initial free large pop popcorn just for signing up and the latest AMC Investor Connect updates. So AMC just released this Investor Connect thing where for now you can get a free popcorn if you join and you're a stockholder. And seems like in the future they're going to be offering more perks for being a stockholder. So yeah, it's free popcorn for now, and in the future, who knows? Maybe it could be more than just that. I heard in some articles, uh, some online news articles, saying that maybe they start off with a free popcorn, and then after that, in the future, it's going to be like maybe special 
screenings for certain movies. Maybe you can see certain movies in advance or something. But I um, I didn't search the AMC website like all that thoroughly. I was in a bit of a rush to make this video. So from what I could see, I didn't see any official statement about screenings. All I really know is that for right now, there's free popcorn. So maybe, I don't know why, but maybe free popcorn is the reason why there's this spike. But that'd be really funny if that was the main reason like everyone wants free popcorn so they're just buying the shares up and it's up like 217 percent but i mean i i hope that's not the reason why but anyway uh yeah free popcorn for amc uh shareholders and uh, what else do i have on the next slide um oh yeah morningstar so uh if you want to i was looking at their financial state well not the financial statements just uh a rough outline of their pre previous numbers that they've released on their annual reports. And according to Morningstar, if you look at their uh, 2018 revenue, you compare that to the 2019 revenue, it's about the same. This is in um, billions of dollars as of March 30th, 2021. So it's a little bit out of date, but um, not too much. The revenue was about the same from 2018 to 2019, but the thing is, if you look at net income, their net income was at uh, $0.11 billion in 2018, and then it went down into the negative, so they were losing money by uh, $0.15 billion in 2019. So they were making money in 2018, and then they were losing money in 2019, and in 2020 the pandemic hit, and they're using, they're losing even more money. So if we look back at the chart, uh, yeah, you can see here 2018 they were here maybe around uh, no, and that they were in the teens maybe early 20s, and then 2019 they started to lose profit profit so they were making they, they weren't making money they were losing money so that's what caused them to go down in value before the pandemic so pandemic was maybe around here so like at this time before the pandemic even started they were losing money so it caused their stock to go even further and then all of a sudden i don't know this free popcorn thing happened and then this stock just spiked like crazy 217 percent to 62.55 all-time high even though Look at the chart here. You can see even though, like for the past 12 months, trailing 12 months, net income, they're still losing money. They're not even making money. So, I mean, that just doesn't make sense to me. And not only that, not only their um, income is down, but also their debt. Yeah, total debt. So 2018, debt was uh, at, this is also in the billions, 5.46 billion in debt and then that skyrocketed it went up like crazy to 10.35 billion in debt 2020 hit pandemic went up even further 11.38 billion in debt now uh for the last quarter q1 2021 they got it down a little bit but it's still quite high it's like what about more than double what it was in 2018. And also their cash, cash and cash equivalents, the cash on hand, it went down in 2019 compared to 2018. 2018, it was 0 0.31 billion. 2019, 0 0.27 billion. You can see it's starting to go up. And uh, as of Q1 2021, as of March 30th, 2021, it was... Uh, at 0 0.81 billion in cash but remember like just recently they had this uh where was it this 230 million dollars that they raised 230 million dollars in capital so assuming that there was i'm not really sure how it works exactly but assuming that they did get to keep all of that capital like maybe there wasn't taxes or maybe fees or anything that would bring them up to like maybe a little over a billion in cash, a little over $1 billion. One, ah, I can't speak right now, it's kind of late. A little over $1 billion in cash. And I mean, that's great, but you look, you look at their total debt, it's still over $11 billion in debt. So, I mean, 
it it doesn't make sense for well in my opinion it doesn't make sense for the stock to be this high when in like 2019 at this time they were doing better financially as compared to now so i mean like in my opinion the share price should be like at around this level or maybe a little bit below since i mean they're not making money and as far as i can tell there's uh they haven't made any announcements as to like anything like life changing or innovative to the company like they're not improving their theaters in any means like there's no big news specifically about what amc is doing to improve their product or the experience of people going to the movie theaters so i mean i i don't think it's gonna go bankrupt at all it's just i don't see why it would go up that much when the product has like as far as that, from what I can see, it hasn't improved very much or at all from what I can tell. But yeah. Anyway, uh, that's what's uh, that's what's happening with Morningstar. And on the last uh, last slide, I, or second to the last slide, my personal thoughts on AMC. I think it's gonna underperform the S and P 500 or the Spider, starting when the market opens on June 3rd, 2021. Uh, right now, the market's going to open in about, I think, three or four hours from now. So we'll see uh, how that folds out. But yeah, whatever whatever the market price is, right when the market opens on June 3rd, 2021, I think that's going to out, uh, underperform the S&P 500 over, I don't know, maybe the next year or two, maybe the next few weeks. We'll see what happens. But it's not something that I would personally invest in. There's other companies I would invest in other than AMC but yeah that's my thoughts on AMC and uh, last slide uh, final notes uh, for those of you who don't know my goal is to outperform the spider of the S&P 500 if you're interested in seeing how my personal picks are doing compared to the market you can check that out in the description below and also if you want to see any quick updates that I have about uh, stock news in general you can check out the discussion tab on my YouTube channel, just click discussion and then sort by newest first. That way you get to see the newest comment at the top. For some reason, I don't know why, but um, that YouTube does not seem to put the newest comment at the top every time. So yeah, just click newest first. All right, so yeah, that's it for today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.